the UK not just banned Huawei, but released a damning intelligence report. And now, the Chinese 5G major is losing the entire European market. Almost a year ago, Trump was relentlessly advocating for outright rejection of Huawei's 5G equipment by European countries after the ban on the company in the United States. But no country, including its natural ally, the United Kingdom, listened to the calls of the American government given the fact that China held Huawei very dear. But now, given the security threats flagged by the US, Huawei is out of business in some of the largest markets in the world – the United States, India, the United Kingdom, Brazil, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and now Italy has also made unfavorable moves against Huawei. By banning Huawei and releasing an intelligence report on the Chinese major, the UK has triggered a domino effect and now Huawei is losing all of Europe. After the United Kingdom decided to phase out Huawei out of UK's market within this year on the basis of a report from the National Cyber Security Center, Huawei is set to lose the lucrative Western European market, which was the last straw for the 5G major. The National Cyber Security Center of GCHQ, the top intelligence body of the UK, revealed that the US sanctions barring the Chinese telecom giant from using technology relying on American intellectual property have had a severe impact on the technology firm. British intelligence believes that Huawei is now relying on untrusted equipment. Actually, the US President Donald Trump's decision to ban the supply of semiconductors and chips to Huawei meant that the telecom giant had to rely on Chinese suppliers, the veracity of which the British security agencies could not guarantee. After the ban in the United Kingdom, companies in European countries like France and Germany are under pressure to ban the Chinese giant. The public mood across Europe is against anything remotely related to China. The security agencies are too suspicious of using Chinese equipment in critical telecom infrastructure. After British intelligence agencies flagged Huawei, ANSSI, France's National Agency for Security of Computer Systems, said that local telecom companies that already use Huawei equipment will be given 8-year licenses to operate 5G technology. Only time-limited approvals have been given to telecom operators that use the Chinese telecom giant's 5G equipment, and officials have admitted that this is part of a phasing-out process. France is not considering an outright ban on Huawei. Rather, its plan is to bring down the role of the Chinese telecom giant's equipment in France's wireless infrastructure to 13% from the present 22%. The print has quoted a member of the Cybersecurity Committee in France's National Assembly as saying, Yes, it's a phasing out. It won't be a total phase out, but there will be much less Huawei in the future network. Now, Italy, the third largest market in the European Union, is also distancing Huawei from its 5G network. Telecom Italia, one of the largest telecom companies based in Italy, which is preparing to roll out 5G in Italy and Brazil, has excluded Huawei from the list of companies invited for the supply of equipments. Cisco, Ericsson, Nokia, Mavenir and Affirmed Networks, a company recently acquired by Microsoft, are among the list of invited suppliers. After Telecom Italia shunned Chinese companies from the list of suppliers, a triggered Huawei told Italy not to act on the basis of baseless allegations. As for Spain, the Ministry of Defense banned all Huawei devices from its data servers last year. No reason was cited for the ban, but it can be assumed that it was a consequence of the Trump-led allegations of espionage and security concerns against Huawei. However, Spain did not ban Huawei devices for its customers. All eyes are now bound to shift on to Germany, the de facto head of the European Union. The country is already facing extensive American pressure to ban Huawei over security and dependence concerns. Trump has even threatened to cut off intelligence sharing if Germany does not ban the Chinese telecom giant. Within Germany, leaders from Merkel's own party have been campaigning against Huawei. CDU intelligence expert Patrick Sensberg stated in July last year that he neither trusts vendors from China nor from the US. But in both countries, 
telecommunications companies need to cooperate closely with the security agencies. Even Germany's defense minister has been critical of Huawei. However, German Chancellor Angela Merkel has managed to sidestep the domestic criticism of Huawei thus far. Every European country is looking for reasons to ban the Chinese telecom giant and the British intelligence report about the Chinese telecom major's diminishing standards has armed other European countries with reason to exclude Huawei and prefer better equipped telecom operators instead.